Hello traders and welcome to this Bitcoin technical analysis video. So Bitcoin still is very volatile. We have two days into the halving, actually just one day since tomorrow. And I really want to show you how we were positioning yesterday, me and traders in a group, into the very heavy longs. I went long on three accounts. I have no shorts currently. All accounts went long. We will be going over technical analysis, price action and all the flow reasons. The order flow reasons were 80, like responsible for 80% uh, you know, objective trade assessment down there. So you will see all what was important there. I will be going over my Discord posts and I will be also showing you tools over here. We will be starting from this point here. So the Bitcoin was in the range above, but we, will, we were breaking down. I need to go a bit to the upside. We were trading, uh, we had this medium swing failure pattern here. We were trading this first as a scalp. Okay, this was the first, but we failed to close above this high. So in the end it failed and we went to the downside. You also need to think about this, this main moves to the downside, this 10% drop over here happened on the Israel and Iran tensions. So this was also happening over the weekend. So the low itself was very big inefficiency for the market as the institutions could not participate, the CME and others, they could not participate at the low. So it was really key for the market to actually sniff out down there and see how strong it is. Yes, and we really found big demand. And whatever trader you are, your maximum priority should be to learn and understand trading swing failure patterns. In the end, these but the swing failure patterns are building my accounts, all of them. And of course, we need order flow for execution. Yes, which I'll be showing you. But yeah, swing failure patterns, they definitely offer you the best reward ratio. The area actually I am showing you here. I just need to copy the link. Uh, we will go over here into the in my, into my corner. <clears throat> this was when Bitcoin was at actually at 65,000. This was the number three uh, trade area for us from 15 of April, so long time ago I shared this, just few day few days back be before we went to the downside. So we will now focus on this price action here. So let's go further down. By the way, as we were heading to the downside, we were getting in very heavy shorts. Uh, open, interest, open interest was increasing. So in the future, I was already telling group in the future, the same day, like yesterday or today, we can squeeze them. And today we are squeezing them because they were greedy. They were not taking profit. They were serving as a fuel. Okay, so let's go further down. So now we are getting weekend low swing failure pattern. This is 5x leverage scalp long, take profit already done. Yes, I was going into the higher leverage. This is like 5x leverage is maximum for me. If I see high probability trade with the very tight stop loss, but I was also positioning on other accounts as this is the main reward ratio area for us. This low itself is very important. Of course, we have even more important low below, but we, we trade level by level. We, we didn't get it, so we trade what is in front of us. We don't hope or we don't just guess. We just take what is in front of us. So let's uh, let's go further. Again, I'm saying it's multi long for me. <clears throat> we we see these open interest increasing, so that was really key for the for the future squeezes. Maybe I should. Yes, you see, I was doing a lot of scalpings because my scalping account is um, yeah is my main scalping. You see, the swing failure pattern also was playing playing out well. With with scalping account, I can have a lot of short term trades, but those two two accounts they had just one take profit, and that's it. You know they were uh, positioning for the match, much higher moves to the upside. Now this was critical post. Of course, we use TRDR. Um, we use TRDR very heavily in the group. While we were at this below, just below 60k and around these regions, we had five times more longs in limits within 5% from the price on perpetuals and also 3 to 1 on spot markets. This alone can give you the range. I can show you actually inside the TRDR. So we go for the order books. Uh, we, I can actually do small segment on TRDR first. So you see the importance of it. So we are seeing uh, very big ratios here just out of these limits. You would need hundreds of millions to actually break down 
market was already heading heavily down on leverage, so it was already like exhausted. Like, imagine it like you have um, bullets in your weapon and you just shoot all the bullets out. You needed a lot of lot of volumes, and especially also from the small markets, this was also protected. So we expected, just with the TRDR tools, we will get into the range and. As the order books were so bullish, we were expecting medium time frame moves to the upside as well. So not only this range, but also multi thousand move to the upside. We know our statistics for the TRDR. Let me show you other templates. Aggregated open interest. We know we built how much? So from 14 billion to 19 billion. So we have 5 billion open interest build up. Now we really need this threshold here because from this point we were building new fresh open interest and people are lo loading up. You already had a chance to actually go into the long so from this low here. And now <clears throat> from the weekend low, it was total wipeout of the open interest on the news. Now we did another sweep and we fully we fully open, fully did open interest round trip. Market tends to bounce when we do open interest round trips because you cause maximum pain on the market and you are left with the, uh, you know, it's like fresh reset for the market. So open interest threshold was also reached at these lows. Another template. Funding rate. 50 minute time frame. Come on. 30 minute time frame. Why it's not showing? Maybe I can do that one more time. Funding rate. I can do it like this, yes. So the funding rates were <clears throat> the funding rates are not so elevated. We have just 0 0.01. Uh, that's that's actually neutral rates. Most of the bull market we have the 0 0.01. Now we are actually getting help because funding rates are going down. It is showing us we have significant spot demand and people are trying to short bid leverage. This is giving fuel for the for the moves up to the upside. If we zoom out, we see market usually found supports in these bull market pushes when we are at the, you look here again, full mar full uh, funding rate resets to the upside, just crazy. We also use the Velo. Yes, the Velo is showing me clearly. Again, we most of the open interest aggregation you have a lot of shorts in the market build up so market will now find equilibrium same like here last time we had this was from around 31st of january so again we are getting uh we are getting help from over leveraged people like you you destroyed so many longs now you are left with the trap shorts which i was just showing you earlier in this open interest build up like over here yeah massive shorts now you are just squeezing up on their pain they still haven't closed as much, so we will actually, because most of those people logically will have stop losses above 64,400. So once you take out this high and you don't make swing failure pattern, many people will be panicking and they will be closing. So these shorts will be fueling most to the upside. So we also have the fuel from these lows. Okay, further. Templates. Liquidations. 50-minute uh, time frame. Okay, so liquidations, we, with this move already, we already reached a very big threshold on liquidations, 30 minute time frame, similar to this low, over 60 million. So this move already was a very exhaustive. You destroyed most of the leverage market participants over here, but still this low did decent liquidations compared to these previous lows, uh, just 10 million. That's also fantastic. So we also had liquidations and other, and other confluence for us, templates. We went over the order books, and of course we we had um, we had pretty heavy selling into the. You need to learn this uh, in our group into the, these thresholds. Heavy selling delta and also total volume was at seven, uh, at seven billion, so that's also great. When you trap these people, you will have at least same magnitude move to the downside. So you just double this this move, and we are already getting that buying pressure, aggregation, and uh, open interest. So that was also great. Um, any other template we can go over? I think that's it. So that was TRDR perspective. We can have a look on trading light. Uh, I made a lot of posts in Discord, but I can just make a quicker video and just show you directly in the tools. So we, we knew we had the bands, but of course tra uh, trading light is showing us exactly what bands. So we are seeing now when we are at the lows and doing this pretty tight swing failure pattern. By the way, this was so tight swing failure pattern. Uh, I used higher leverage because I can have very tight stop loss. Yeah, I had just... Uh, 
So in 5x leverage, you have 0.2% stop loss or 0.3 and you just uh, multiply it by 5. You are getting 1 or 2% stop loss, but you are getting huge reward ratio. And that backtest was also great, right into the big wall. So you see market was like, this is like brute force, brute force stabilization from whales, from institutions, from entities, big entities. They layered almost 10,000 bitcoins down to 5% move uh, to the price. You just would need very big volumes. Now you are getting also, uh, as we are pushing up, this is also what we want to see in our uptrends. We want at least some of the orders chasing price. So they are, so people who are longing here can hide their stop losses behind those orders. It gives you, it gives you like more uh, trust in the market. Uh, in the strongest impulses, we actually get a lot of chasing directly for, like you should be seeing a lot of orders here, a lot of orders here. But they were still okay. We had some new orders protecting these lows uh, over here. Actually, I had a um, few scalps here, and this was also one of the scalps I was taking in the group. I've seen the new new orders. Look here, market was so illiquid, like order books were so empty, even this uh, 20 million wall on Bitcoin, 18 million wall on Bitcoin was helping to push us to the upside. Now we went into the first first move to the upside from the from the range. Uh, we we are getting into the pullback. This was, by the way, a very like single entity. And we go into the CVD. Yes, we are seeing. We already that was also look here, five minute time frame. So you see the spot markets uh, just trending down, down, down. But we started to see also with the low some fresh spot demand, and this first push up was actually how much? So from uh, we go like this thirty million to. Oh yeah, this was uh, 60 million buyer on uh, just on Coinbase. If you go over here and see the CVDs from exchanges, we can see uh, major. Here you are. So this was uh, you. You are seeing uh, almost no selling pressure. Other exchanges are having negative delta, but Coinbase was having only positive delta. This is showing you someone was filling 60 million order with TVAP buying. TVAP buying is not single buying order but they are filling positions every single minute, every single second, so they don't disturb market as much. But this was just single entity. Almost nobody was buying perpetuals. Some shorts were rebuying, a bit of a bit of Binance, but uh, other exchanges not as much. So we had the push and now we are going to the downside for the pullback. But the pullback held, um, we, we had a really, really nice, important uh, position holding here. So that was great. And now we are pushing further to the upside as we had this medium time frame bias. So again, perpetuals, super helpful for us. He heavy stabilization and spot market, not as much. So a spot market, we had some orders, but it was nothing, nothing crazy. It was 2000 Bitcoins down 5%, that's, that's okay. But I think overall we were feeling a lot of, lot of passive limits down there. So we actually, Without them, we would actually be, we could be taking out these lows, but now these people were exhausting so many sellers into these lows. So, and you see, you see how empty, you see the black, everything, everything is black over here. You don't need as much volume to push to the upside. So market had like pretty much open doors to the upside. Do you see first time where we are actually slowing down first spot wall? So this, this wall already exhausted market pullback. Here we didn't, but now we have, this is like a node. So you are getting into the range because now another uh, another consolidation with this wall. So market is getting a bit exhausted as well. Now the you don't have much resistances up to 66, 67, but you see the more you push, the more resistance you will get from the spot market. So overall move to the upside was not, not so hard to do on uh, smaller volumes because other books were allowing it. Same over here. Super empty order books, buying side full on the Binance Perpetuals. Why you are now stabilizing? Very simple. Again, now Perpetuals are trying to, you see that we are growing pressure. So now range is logical here. We need to just build liquidity and it's logical take profit if you were uh, yeah, yesterday longs. Yeah, par partial take profits is, uh, can be done. So well, yeah, let me let me show you if I didn't uh, <clears throat> if I didn't miss any post. I just wanted to show you how this was important. I was also showing our traders where I will be interested to add to the uh, positions because we were pushing up. Some people were left behind, so I was definitely saying group. I want to hold this 
high volume note so from 60,666 down to 60k the new york main high volume note you also trap a lot of shorts here in this area so it needed to hold if we go to exo charts i didn't don't have it here but i will open exo will be just a sec because it's a very simple template <clears throat> okay it's already loading i just want to show you that pullback held okay this is why you by the way it was over here so 60,666 a bit demonic number <laughs> getting it was actually a uh, front run a bit so from here start starting from from this point this was the main support and we were holding it so support holding there was liquidity build up but it was never taken so we just needed to act, take it as support so yeah exactly how i said it's gonna that's where you want to add to trade so i had chance to also add to uh, to build new long this is also a good pause you can actually pause video and read it because we had um, very bad conditions uh, prior to the move to the downside you definitely don't want to trade that we stay away from such trading when we have low volume low volatility uh, everything's bad like one side is fully in control you stay away or you will get trapped or just uh, destroyed i can just uh, scroll down a bit this was the now i was sleeping so this is today this is now today and let's have a look on today Oh yeah, I was uh, taking some scalps. Yes, but the last scalp I was just showing you with these order books. We are pushing to the upside, just beautiful. We were also ready in case we go further. We will be looking to swing failure pattern of these olives and uh, liquidity, but it never happened. Market very strong. I was making all, because yesterday I, I made all these important posts, so people were ready. Each trade we built from this area indeed has medium time frame potential. All those posts were giving our traders very clear bias. I just showed you in the video what we can expect next from Bitcoin. So um, so what we can expect next from Bitcoin is now we need to i need also a bit of charting 50 minute time frame so we are reaching uh, this high volume node at point of control is still resistance for us so for me i took some profits over here if we manage to re if we manage to reclaim this area we can actually push to the upside to take out this high now it's gonna be decision point for the market do you take out this high for swing failure pattern or not because if not then you can squeeze all these people who are shorting which i was showing you in the open interest increase if uh, also we start to go into another pullback i definitely want to see bitcoin staying inside this range and while so this is another again if we go into much deeper pullbacks i definitely want to see the val hold also we have the anchor we up now from these lows uh, it held us today well so we need to put it like uptrend it was more like an area now is recharging so uptrend view also needs to hold market structures you see we went into the another market structure we also have the local range here so if you lose this value we'll trade this local range we still have a lot of liquidity below these lows in case we lose the val then we, you will be focusing on liquidity from these lows to take it down and push and if you fail to stop here you will go for the main main lows and we still uh, like my bias is to the upside but in case i see signs of weakness and we started to get acceptance lower and lose the val then yes of course we focus on a uh, on lower levels just be ready if you lose this low this this is major swing failure pattern happened you will be going for major swing failure pattern high volume now this is now main low for us for the range 59,088 and you have another low here you have another low here with the two consecutive lows so 58,600 you can actually take out this one and this one and do very big large time frame swing failure pattern uh, but that's only activating if you lose this low and you don't do swing failure pattern you also have very big liquidity here so 
uh, you can go down to 58,300 and then start to do failed auction or swing failure pattern. If you lose this area, uh, you need to be really careful because we have, I was doing a post for our group, uh, we have big problem if you don't do swing failure pattern at that low because you will you will destroy some of the uh, open interest build up. If you lose this low, we can expect multi thousand dollar move to the downside because we had so many people longing prior to the five six weeks range we went into. They will be forced to close and they will be closing into the. You see, there was huge push, uh, inefficient push. There is no volume in these regions and no support. All these people will be selling into the low volume areas, so this can give you cascades. Uh, to 50,000, you know, 52, 52, 50,000. So yeah, if you are insured, you also um, from much higher. You, yeah, I would be definitely some adding to some short on such breakdowns uh, because of these people. Yeah, it's just too huge threshold. We are in the bull market, but market is hunting down open interest increases. So this is good threshold to watch. 13.6, uh, 13.86 billion, but now you have one point. 5 billion to be wiped out if you fail swing failure patterns at these lows oh yeah so um yeah you need to be defensive there but yeah, for now we have nice bounce <clears throat> we just want to continue to see uh signs of strength and once we started to like it's very key for the bitcoin to from my perspective to take out this high we really need to take it out so we can actually negate because we still have the downtrend yeah so we we still go we still go to the downside now this is first potential change of character now we need to do this yes we either do swing failure pattern or just continuation but we can already then start to look for higher low to be put in and you know proper change of market structure so yeah this is critical to be taken out on our charts from this perspective and of course we can have these all local ranges i will just hide them height height one hour time frame but the main main thing bitcoin needs to do now and this is going to be big fight so you can that's why actually you can get maybe potential swing failure pattern there is getting acceptance into this range if you get acceptance then you start can start thinking about new range rotations to the upside yes and now we have six weeks spoke now uh, at sixty seven thousand. We have good high here, so we is possible we will do swing failure pattern into this. We also have uh, like bigger high volume notes, so you can view it as an area. It's possible we do swing failure pattern reject. So, in case market shows us further moves to the upside, yes, uh, this is most medium time frame resistance for me. Okay, if you don't react here, yeah, there is no reaction here. You will rotate this range to the naked VAG. Potential swing failure patterns again at the highs. If you fail, then you open road to much higher moves. We can easily, this is going to be one of the easiest moves on the market when you go about 67,800 because you have low volume node here. The low volume node, zero resistance in these areas. Yeah, so this is inefficiency, super easy for the market to push into the 70k. So yeah, we will see in the future. But yes, so key to change this, to change that... Um, to change that high and take it out it will also depend on like bitcoin will really depend on the macro situation because we still can have uh, escalations in the world and we will just go down so make sure to have stop losses make sure to have some nice take profits as well even when i was very heavily long you know i have we reached another target area so you can also be in hedge here you had potential to be hedge and uh, hedge short from the order book short Yes, Bitcoin still needs to show us much, much, uh, much better, like much more signs of strength. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> and in the end, this is the six, six weeks point of control. Uh, this also needs to be reclaimed 67K currently. So this needs to be reclaimed. You see, it's also with the main range horizontal point of control. So this is going to be double resistance. Until this is not reclaimed, we have um, we have neutral to bearish bias. We just trade in these lower parts of the range, and we have also uptrend anchor viva from the uh, top downtrend. Also waiting for retest for another for another area. Yes, yeah, so I don't want to do long video. Just wanted to sum up why I'm why I took the heavy longs. Lots of order flow reasons 
Of course, in Exo, we also had uh, some nice reasons that's also all discussed in the group. If you want to learn with us, if you want to pull these high probability traits, you don't need to guess. You don't need to guess if you have uh, five moving averages down here. MACD is oversold to 100 or RSI is at minus 1000. That doesn't matter. What matters are order books and all, all order flow tools. With big orders, you know, here, all that matters. Doesn't matter uh, technical analysis as much as the you know power of the order flow tools and liquidity and TRDR exo charts. All these matters. Yeah, technical analysis is just is just uh, twenty percent. Yes, so don't lie to yourself if you are a new trader. Learn proper way of trading, or you will be struggling. <clears throat> By the way, liquidity work also really great. Now trading different continues to be a really good tool. You see. We took out huge liquidity node over here. Most literally not many people to destroy when we move down. And now we have this high time frame liquidity. And now we start to, we, we are taking now, you see, we actually took 100% of these shorts here, but their liquidity is now resting above these highs. So we will see once, once we get there. Okay, traders, that's it from me. So I wish you good trades. Join us, learn with us, make money with us. Thank you for watching and bye.